<clears throat> okay, as you come on, um, I hope you can hear me well. I don't have my microphone hooked up. Uh, maybe I can find it. If it's okay, if you can hear me okay, let me know. This is going to be a quick scope. Hello, hello, hello. Let me know if you can hear me clearly, please. I don't have my mic. You can hear me okay. Great. I'm in New York City. First of all, Crusaders, tomorrow I want every member who has not yet received a prophetic um, for prophetic ministry, <laughs> prophetic ministry for 2016 to be there because our prophetic teams, I've, I've, I've instructed all the prophetic teams to be there to release the word of the Lord. We're going to cover everyone, everyone, everyone who's not yet received prophetic ministry. It's going to be a complete prophetic service, praise and worship with Kathy Summers. We want every member of our church and also the visitors in and first timers also can get prophetic ministry tomorrow. I know it's supposed to get cold, but come out, get your word. I don't believe you should go into a new year without having good prophetic ministry to take you into the new year. So that's for Crusaders, 7859 South Ashland on the south side of Chicago at 10 a.m. <clears throat> uh, prophetic worship with Kathy Summers. Prophetic teams will be ministering. It'll be a prophetic service. Listen, the word of the Lord can change your life. And I, 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 two things happened today uh, in New York um, as I ministered. It was a powerful, powerful release of uh, 48 hours of prayer uh, they're having, uh, 48 continuous hours of prayer. I'll be ministering three times. But I, as, we, as I looked at the number 48, I began to sing from Psalms 48. And I began to sing about Zion, the perfection of beauty. I began to sing about the daughters of Zion rejoicing. <clears throat> I began to sing that song prophetically. I've never done that before, uh, but I began to sing it prophetically, and it was powerful. There was such a powerful release, and I preached on the glory of God. You know, I, I realized that a lot of a lot of preachers do not believe that the glory of God can come into their cities. They've had such a difficult time in their cities and regions until they've almost given up praying for it. And many of them have such an end time mentality that. Everything is about to end and the world is about to end and the devil's uh, the antichrist is about to come and Armageddon's about to come until they've lost hope in seeing the glory manifest. But Jesus said this to Martha in the book of John. She said, if you, he said, if you will believe, you will see the glory of God. It takes faith to believe God that as we pray, prophesy, evangelize, fast, do what we're doing, that the glory of God can come into our cities into our regions, into our territories and bring transformation. And uh, I, one of the worst things that can happen to you is to doubt. God does want to manifest his glory. We just have to get out of the way and allow him to do it. We just have to humble ourselves, pray, turn away from iniquity, desire his presence, his beauty, his glory, and, and pray and he will come. And I'm, in a, I'm involved in a 48 hour continuous prayer here in Brooklyn, New York. And uh, that is something unusual to see in America um, for people to pray that long. <clears throat> and um, I believe that sustained prayer on that level can see great benefits and great breakthroughs. Then um, I, went, I went and got some coffee. I found another heart's cup. Here it is. Another heart's cup has been found. So I love hearts. Uh, you give, I love when people give hearts. Um, and I, I found this heart's cup. So here's another one. Um, that I found I'm going to be drinking out of and using. Um, I also found another one of the other heart cups because they're usually out. Um, and here I'm opening up heart cups. And this is the one I, I, I found another one of these heart cups. Okay, my heart cup that I use. But this is the new heart cup. Okay, the heart cup that I found. So if you like hearts, if you like giving hearts, receiving hearts, here are my hearts cups. Okay, so thank you for all the hearts. We're, we're getting close to 30 million hearts now on Periscope. Now, <clears throat> the next thing that happened, uh, I began to prophesy a word that I've never, ever spoken before. And this was it. 
that God was about to open a new chapter in your life. Many of you, a new chapter. I felt the Lord closing old chapters of your life and opening up a new chapter. Now, I prophesied about new things, new glory, new favor, new finances, new songs, but I've never spoken a word saying a new chapter. That's what I love about the prophetic, because when, when God unctions you, he'll give you something you've never spoken before. Well, what is a new chapter? A new chapter is a new beginning. Um, it's, it's God writing something new for your life. When you write a new chapter, um, the new chapter um, is based on the old chapters. But once you get through the old chapters, you go into a new chapter. And what has happened previously has just positioned you to go into a new chapter. You read the previous chapter, whether it's chapter one, two and three to understand what's in chapter four. And so <coughs> I saw many of God's people. The old chapters of your life have been preparing you for this new chapter, this new season you're about to walk into. And this new season, God is writing it. Many people, um, you've allowed the enemy to write the chapter. But the Lord says, no longer will the enemy write the chapters of your life. But I will, if you allow me, I will write that chapter. And even you will write that chapter. And so it's time for you to write your own chapter. It's time for you to allow God to write a chapter. You know, the Bible says in the book of Joshua, is God told Joshua that if you <clears throat> meditate in my word, day and night, you will make your way prosperous and have good success. In other words, you're responsible to make your way prosperous by the word of the Lord, by the wisdom of God. And so stop letting other people write your chapter. Stop letting demons write your chapter. It's time for you to write your own chapter. And it's time for you to allow God to be the author and the finisher of your faith. Let him help you write that chapter. Let me say that again. Stop letting other people write the chapters of your life. Stop letting demons and devils write the chapters of your life. The Lord told me to tell people that the old chapters, if the devil wrote it, people wrote it, or if you wrote it and it was a bad chapter, are closing and it's now a season for a new chapter, but you have to write it. Write it with your mouth. Write it with your confession. Write it with the prophetic word. Write it in prayer. Write it by making the right decisions. Let God be involved in this next chapter of your life. I heard it so clearly and I prophesied that in the meeting today, a new chapter. So I want to speak that word over your life today. It's time for you to write a new chapter. It's time for you to allow God to get involved in the chapter, next chapter of your life. The Lord says, I'm closing the old chapters, but now I'm writing a new chapter. I, I'm giving you, the Lord says, the permission to write a new chapter. If you don't like what happened in the previous chapters of your life, the Lord said, now it's time for you to write a new chapter. And the Lord says, as you allow me to come into your life, I will help you write that chapter. And this chapter will be different from previous chapters. It'll be a chapter full of victory, full of adventure, uh, full of miracles, full of breakthroughs. Uh, you'll see this chapter as a chapter that will be a chapter of blessing. So get ready for a new chapter to be written in your life. Father, I speak that word and I prophesy that word today over those that are listening uh, on, on this scope. Father, I thank you for a new chapter, a new season that they will write with your help. You'll write it with God's help. Let me say that again. You'll write it with God's help. Don't leave God out. God wants you to write it. God wants you to write that chapter. God wants you to use your tongue, your words to write that chapter. God wants you to use your decisions to write the next chapter of your life. But he wants you to involve him in it. He'll help you write the chapter. It's up to you, the next chapter of your life. But there's a new chapter that you're writing. Many of you will write a new chapter in your life. It'll be something so completely different from what has been written in the past. It's going to be something that you never imagined. It's going to be something that you've never seen before. And you're going to make decisions and you're going to say things and prophesy and pray and, and cause the next chapter of your life to open up. And you're going to, you're going to see breakthrough. God is about to come into your life to help you write the next chapter of your life. Father, I release that word and I thank you, Lord, for those that are watching and those that are receiving it now in Jesus name. Okay, let me show again my new heart cup. Okay, if you if you like what you heard, give some hearts, tap the heart button. You can do it by tapping the screen. If you're new to Periscope, the way those hearts are released is you, people just tap the screen. We also have the double tap, okay? I haven't got the triple tap, but I can do the double tap. Okay, this is the this is the old hearts cup that I'm using. I've sent these out to people and given them to people as a gift. And this is the new hearts cup that I just found today 
um, and, and, and I'm excited. I'm going to use this cup just to remind uh, people about Periscope and the love that I received. So many people came out to Brooklyn to meet me. People came from Iowa, from New Hampshire, from New Jersey, from all over the boroughs of New York uh, to meet me. And I had a chance to sign books and pray for some and even prophesy over some. And uh, I'll be tomorrow, <clears throat> the meeting will not be in the same place. It'll be at a high school. I don't have the address, uh, but I believe you can call the ministry, KL Ministries, and get the exact address. It's going to shift tomorrow. I'll be doing the morning and the afternoon, the morning and the afternoon in Brooklyn. And uh, if I get the address, I'll put it on my Facebook page. I believe I have it. I'll put it on my Facebook page and you can come if you're anywhere in the area. Amen. God bless you. Well, thank you. Don't forget Crusaders Church tomorrow, 7859 South Ashland on the south side of Chicago. Prophetic ministry for those who've not received prophetic ministry yet for 2016. I want you to go in the, into the new year with the word of the Lord. So all of our prophetic teams will be there and all the members of Crusaders and those who are visiting and always when we minister to new first timers and visitors as well, I give you a chance to come and receive prophetic ministry. Service starts at 10 a.m. That's at 7859 South Ashland Avenue on the south side of Chicago. Well, God bless you. I didn't do a morning scope or a midnight scope because I was traveling. I felt I needed to get some rest because I had to minister this morning. I didn't want to be tired trying to minister.